Hey everyone, so it is the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a great day. Maybe you did some Black Friday shopping. I am not doing any Black Friday shopping, but I did have a really good start to my day. I went to the gym, got in a really good workout, decided to treat myself to a healthy and delicious smoothie for lunch, and it just so happens that they were buy one get one half today, and the girl in front of me was kind enough to give me her half price smoothie and pay for it. So I was in a really good mood to come back and film a holiday look for you guys. I have a few looks in mind and I decided to start with a more classic look with the wing liner and red lips. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Starting off with this Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo, I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and apply this all over the lower part of my lid just to give something for the shadow to stick to. And I am using the Morphe 350 palette, taking this shimmery champagne gold color. I am just going to apply that all over my lid where I just applied that color tattoo. Then taking this flesh tone shade and a fluffy brush, I am just going to buff that into the crease for a transition shade. Then I'm going to take this dark brown shade and a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just going to pack that onto the outer corner of the lid and drag it into the crease just for a little added depth and dimension. Then just go back in with that first fluffy brush and blend everything out so that there aren't any harsh lines. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner and an angle brush. And I'm just going to make myself a wing. Then taking a different angle brush and the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown, I'm just going to fill in my brows. And then I forgot to show you the color, but using the first shade in the palette, it's just a matte cream shade, I'm going to use that to highlight under my brow. And then moving on to foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. As the names say, one is luminous and one is matte, so by mixing them together, you kind of get the best of both worlds. And I'm applying that with the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki as usual. Then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and the NYX Yellow Concealer. For the Maybelline, I'm putting that in the triangle shape under my eyes, um, in between my brows, center my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin, everywhere that I would normally highlight. And then for the yellow one, I'm just putting this under my eyes for a little extra brightness, and I am blending that out with the Real Technique sponge, and this is damp. Next, to set everything, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and starting under my eyes, I'm using a smaller brush that will help get up into the crease area, and make sure you tap out the concealer before doing this, and just keep looking up, that way you don't set the creases in your concealer. Then I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and this one is in the shade Sunlight, so I'm just putting that in all of the usual places, hollows of my cheeks, around the edges of my face. and also along the sides of my nose. For blush, this is La Femme's Dusty Rose, and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. And as you can see, this is super pigmented. I barely touched the blush and even patted off the excess, and I still got that much for both cheeks. So I went back in with my powder brush and kind of buffed out the color a little bit so it wasn't so bright. So definitely be careful with La Femme blushes. For a highlight, I'm using the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip, and these are only a dollar. You do have to kind of work with them a little bit to get it blended out, but once you do, it gives you a pretty good highlight for the price. 
They have a few different shades, so I would definitely recommend trying one of those out if you haven't before. And I believe this one is in the shade Lilac, which is a soft, pinky tone shade. So I'm just applying that to the high points of my cheek, down the center of my nose, a little bit on my chin, and some on my cupid's bow. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking a pencil brush on that first shade I used in my crease, blending that along the whole lash line, and then taking that darker shade and just putting it on the outer half, and then taking this warmer blush tone shade and a pencil brush, I'm going to blend that out along the entire lash line. And I'm using that same color to highlight my inner corner as I did my brow bone. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara because I am going to do falsies. And I did these off camera, but they are the Demi's from Ardell. And I also lined my waterline with a white pencil from NYX. And then for lips, I am lining in Cherry from MAC. So I'm just going to line them and fill them in completely. And for lipstick, I'm using the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss in the shade Secret. It is a dark red shade. And that completes this look. I think this is a gorgeous classic look for the holidays. Not too over the top, pretty simple and easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!